should I say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening? Anytime is it that you're watching it, you're watching this clip, um, you're watching Basa TV, your number one TV channel, online TV channel for everything that has to do with Basa. My name is Kuri. Um, my full name is Kuri Emmanuel. Um, I will be taking you on a new program, which you call Pep Talk. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of things in life. Young person, we can learn together how we can reach that that stage called success in life. And uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of topics, a lot of topics. Talking about um, potential as the first topic. I would like first of all to define what potential is in a general stage of understanding. Potential can be your inner ability, your untapped ability. You can tap them if you want to. And um, these potential are things that are embedded in us or are instilled in us. They are inside you, they are inside me, by nature and from God also. Whichever way you want to believe it, whether you believe in nature or you believe in God. But naturally, every human, every creature, not just a human being, has something that is inside him or inside her that he or she can do to change his circumstances or to affect the life of other people. For the fact that there is potential there does not mean that that potential will automatically start showing itself. You have to trigger it. There are many ways you can trigger the potential. Number one, from the things you love. Number two, from the things you find that um, somebody does. Naturally, you observe mistakes that they are doing. Not that you were taught in any school. Not that someone sat you down and told you that this thing, this particular thing, this is how to do it. But just you find yourself that naturally you can relate to it. I believe that should be your potential. Now for the thing, uh, for instance, I want to eat rice, right? And um, I know how to cook rice. Knowing how to cook rice is my potential, but that rice will not come to my table simply because I have the potential. I have to stand up, utilize the potential, make use of it, manifest it. Go out there, there's something you can do, there's something you can achieve, there's something inside you Look, there are a lot of us, a lot of people who are feeding to the North Rio government. We, number one, as Africans, as Nigerians, as Basas, the young person is wired. The Nigeria kind of society, or should I say Africa kind of society, that wired it with that kind of understanding that um, you can't do anything except you are on someone's payroll. Let me repeat myself. You can't achieve or do anything except you are on someone's payroll. What I mean by payroll there is you need to be employed by government or you need to be working with a certain agency or organization. But honestly speaking, no, it's a lie. Potential alone, apart from skills, apart from educational certificates, apart from... Um, information knowledge apart from it your potential alone can feed you a lot of things you know how to do a lot of things see there are a lot of people today who are making money who are making the world proud simply because they discover that potential in them that thing that embedded thing in them we're not talking about talent even talent yet in them name them if you follow their footsteps Honestly speaking, there's a lot we can achieve. So, potentiality here is one thing you need to discover it. For the fact that I can talk, I can relate to you. For the fact that you can talk, you can relate to people, you can tell people this is me, you can define who you are, itself is another potential. So, discover your potential, discover your purpose, go down deep there. Ask yourself some questions. What are these things I can do? How can I do them? If you discover that you can sing, but you don't know solfers, you have the potential of singing, but you don't know solfers, it's very easy. There are people today who have degrees, 
PhDs, diplomas in music. You can engage a music director, join a choir in your church, or rather if you're a Muslim, you can look for a friend or your brother who knows how to sing. If it, is, if it means giving him a little stipend for you to learn how to sing, I think to me it's fair enough so that you add up to that natural gift. You understand that natural potential that you have so that you can add up to it. You know, you have a fine shirt. It looks beautiful. But until you iron the shirt, if you wash it and press it, just dry it like that and wear it and go out. People may probably laugh at you because the shirt may be squeezed, may not be properly packaged. But by the time you carry iron and you iron the shirt, you find out that you come out perfect. The shirt has the ability to make you look fine, look, make you look handsome or make you look beautiful. But until you iron it to apply that beauty on the shirt, to make that beauty from the shirt appear, it won't make you look fine. It won't make you look that beautiful and handsome as you want. So that's just how potential, to me, that is how I relate potential with. It's already inside you, or packaged, but unbundled. Go down there, unbundle it, repackage it. Look for internal or external sources that can make you brand that package and take it out. How much will it cost you to rebrand your potential? How much will it cost you to repolish your potential? How much are you ready? Which takes us now to sacrifice, which will be a topic for another day. For the introductory part of pep talk, I think um, we can say we pause here. Till I see you next week.